Go on, Chris. Okay, we'll call the order of the Finance Committee meeting for Thursday, August 12th. We'll stand for the uh, prayer and pledge. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you tonight for the uh, tropical storm dissipating. Once again, we ask that uh, this hurricane season be an uneventful one. We also have a special intention tonight. We would like to pray for the, so the souls of Audrey Abadie Chauvin and Glenn Mayers. May you give their families peace, and may they be resting with you eternally. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, roll call. Looks like everyone present except for Dempsey Lambert. Uh, public comment period reminder, if you wish to speak, please sign in with the secretary. And uh, we will be moving item number 13 up on the agenda to right now 4A. Uh, Ms. Martha. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the council. I'm here tonight to ask for a resolution that would go forward to the parish council, full council, to allow us to apply for the 2010-2011 local community assistance program that's called LAGAP. We've gotten that uh, for the last three years. Uh, DPW has uh, done road signs with them. We've striked some uh, of our roads, so we will be also going back and asking for about 99000 again, and hopefully we'll get funded maybe seventy. Motion. Motion by Councilman Bell, second by Councilman Kluwat. Any discussion? That's what it must be. Any objection? Motion passes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Martha. gentlemen. Okay, with that, we'll move into our finance report section, our economic development report for the month. Mr. Mike Eads. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll be quick. Uh, you have before you uh, our monthly report of uh, activity. We are still uh, having quite a strong amount of interest uh, in the parish on the part of both new projects and potential expansions of existing companies. Uh, in fact, if you uh, look down at the bottom of the chart, uh, you see that there's been uh, three or four new ones added in the last month or so, which is encouraging. Uh, so uh, we've got our hopes up for that. Uh, not to, uh, to uh, talk about old news, but uh, I'm sure you all got, I hope you all got the word and saw in the paper the uh, announcement of the Scots project. Uh, I feel like compelled to, uh, while I hate to start naming names because you always leave people out, <laughs> uh, but uh, this was truly a team effort to get this deal done, starting with President Martinez, who was personally involved in, in this project. Uh, along with Bill Rue and Laverne Bourgeois and a whole lot of other people that, that work with us. And uh, I just want to personally uh, and publicly say thank you to everybody uh, that it took to get this deal done. And uh, I'll answer any questions you have this time. Okay, questions? No. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Reeds. We'll move on to um, item number six, our request for proposals. Uh, Joan Shivers. Compact track loader leasing and backhoe loader leasing. On June 23, 2010, the purchasing department received five proposals and one no bid from Scott Equipment for compact track loader leasing and backhoe loader leasing. The proposals were received from H&E Equipment Services, Daily Equipment Company, Doggett Machinery Services, Crawler Equipment, and Louisiana Machinery. After review, the Non-Engineering Co Selection Committee recommend accepting the proposal from Louisiana Machinery and to authorize the parish president to enter into an agreement for this service. So move, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Councilman Todd Lambert. Go ahead second. Second. Up second. Second by Councilman Ken Shexner, I'm sorry. Uh, any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. RFP, Dumpster Rental, Trash Disposal, and Recycling Bins. On July 13, 2010, the Purchasing Department received six proposals for dumpster rental, 
trash disposal and recycling bins. The proposals were received from Acadian Waste Disposal, ACE Waste System, Allied Waste, Innovative Waste System, Sweetie Solid Waste Disposal, and Waste Management. After review, the three most responsive proposals were received from Acadian Waste, Allied Waste, and Sweetie Solid Waste Disposal. The Non-Engineering Selection Committee recommends accepting the proposal from Allied Waste and to authorize the parish president to enter into an agreement for this service. Motion by Councilman Shakespeare, second by Councilman Thompson. Discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Thank you, Ms. Jones. Thank you. Item number seven is our sales and use taxes report for the month. Ms. Quinn. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, you have before you the monthly sales tax report for our three sales taxing districts, East Ascension Drainage, Sales Tax District Number 1, and Sales Tax District Number 2. Uh, the middle column will show you the results of collections July 10 compared to July 09 in each district as well as the year to date. You can see uh, the month comparison is uh, steadily climbing. Uh, in each district and the month year to date totals are all on the positive side and there's a, almost a flat rate of uh, from 09. But the good news as always is the budget comparison. We're at 58.3 percent of the year in collections and you can see that drainage is almost at 64 percent of budget. Uh, the one percent is almost at 67 and the half cent is at almost at 66 uh, percent. So if collections continue as they are now on the rate they're going, we, we feel confident that we'll meet budget this year. And the charts in the back here you've reviewed before, the sector that is uh, the most improved from 09 is uh, the petrochemical industry and their suppliers. And if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Any questions on this month's report? For Gwen. Okay. If not, we will move on. Item number eight, our revenue and expenditure report. Ms. Amanda. Good evening. This is the financial report as of the month of June 2010. We're at 50% of the year. Our total operating revenue budget is at 46.07%. The capital projects budget is at 7%. And your total revenues is at 36.77%. On your expenditures, your total operating expenditures at 41.98%. Capital projects at 19.19% and your total is at 34% for expenditures. Um, on page 4 and 5 of the report is an explanation of the items highlighted in green that are 5% under the budget for revenues and 5% over the budget for expenditures. And the last page lists all of the checks issued in June over 100000 and the total of these checks were one million seventy six thousand seven sixty one fifteen. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer at this time. Any uh, questions or comments? Okay, we will move on then to our contracts report. Ms. Kim Freeland. Good evening, Councilman. Before you is our monthly contracts report for contracts processed during the month of July. If you want to look it over, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Real quick, 
Council on the BP. Uh, mm -hmm. Item number four. Uh, the term is yeah there there's a typo on that yes. okay. um, but actually it should say with the option to automatically renew until 1 9 11 right. sorry about that okay anyone else motion I don't think any. okay we'll move on uh, then to we don't uh, have to vote on it. Lamar Dixon report. Mr. Vogt. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm real pleased to uh, inform you today that uh, we were budgeted to have a, a, a $32,000 uh, shortfall um, in our operating surplus this year. Uh, right now, uh, through uh, June 30, we are at a positive 61000 369 and our projected ending fund balance um, it looks like a positive 154,333 now that does not include any of the BP revenues uh, which will start showing up on this report next month so I'm very pleased that we're moving forward in that regard any questions how is the uh, BP arrangement going so far it's going very, very well. We had a little bit of a rocky start, uh, mainly because we had a lot of uh, renovation due to the building. We had a number of things like the doors and so forth that were in terribly bad repair. But uh, right now, it is moving very smoothly. We haven't had a complaint from anybody in the last two or three weeks. In fact, uh, they're asking for more space in the facility. Uh, we're hoping, uh, and it looks very, very positive for them to uh, acquire the gymnasium space in the YMCA building. Uh, somewhere, well, I don't even want to quote a figure at this point. It hadn't been negotiated, but uh, that's very positive. They're also looking for some additional parking lot space that we think we, we can make available. And there's also a, a possibility of them uh, using some of the, the pasture just to the south of the uh, facility, the unimproved areas where we might put in a uh, crusher run stone base for them to work on, where they might set up a tent or just have outdoor parking. So they're are still some uh, considerable revenue opportunities for us in that department. Okay. Real quick, Councilman Clua. Yeah, on the uh, on the BP arrangement, that that's that no way crippling our ability to uh, for functions in the uh, in the facility. No, sir, it's not. It's Thank not. You, sir. Uh, the, well, the area that they're taking primarily is the 4-H building, and then some other parking lot areas. Uh, the the gymnasium in the Y building is used very sporadically, and we've been able to relocate those events to other areas of the facility, whether it be the <coughs> trademark building or the uh, banquet hall. Um, and the other future uses should not impact at all. We've been we've been very fortunate to be able to relocate or readjust with all of our other sh major shows, like the Sportsman Show and the LSU uh, Livestock Show, that are our two biggest events. They've been able to shift and utilize other facilities as well and uh, in fact we've got a, a five-year agreement we're ready almost ready to sign with uh, LSU and also a two-year agreement with the sportsman show uh, so they're they're well, well satisfied and, and taken care of so you say uh, with LSU that that agreements almost finalized the LSU agreement yes sir Thank you. Uh, anything else okay any other questions Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, we'll move in our funding request section. Uh, item number 11, volunteer ascension. Uh, the annual, approval of annual budget allocation, the amount of $25,000. Do we have someone here from volunteer ascension that wishes to speak? Good evening. Um, I'm Sherry Denig. I'm the new executive director for volunteer ascension. And I just wanted to assure you that um, we are continuing to meet our goals and exceed our goals. We've just finished up with our school tools and school uniform programs, and I wanted to give you guys some numbers. There are some annual reports in front of you which give you numbers on 2009, but we also have some um, 2010 numbers for you. As far as school supplies, and I, I will be brief, but the items collected uh, so far with school tools and stuff the bus, um, those two combined projects are over 94,000 school supplies. 
that are being um, put into our school systems. We were real pleased with um, the results from both of those programs. And as far as school uniforms, which we just finished up with that program, we collected 4,687 uniforms this year, and we distributed 1,700, almost 1,800 on site. And we have put another 3,000 uniforms in the school system. Everything that was left from distribution, we divided those among the schools, and those, those have been sent out to the schools. So our programs this summer went very well, and um, we are very pleased. If you guys have any questions for me, I'm open for that, but I just wanted to give you an update on our 2010 projects. Okay. Any questions? <coughs> Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. I'll need a motion. Any discussion? Motion. Motion by Councilman uh, Kluat. Second. Second by Councilman Cullen. Uh, any discussion? Quick. Councilman Thompson? Uh, this funding starts uh, 2011. Yes, it's for the budget out. Yes, for the budget 2011. Okay. Uh, are we planning on going back and look at the budget for this? Uh, everybody that we contribute to cutting it 20% uh, because of the revenues are down that we collect. Well, I think it's a good suggestion that we definitely go back and 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 look at all of these requests uh, for. For everybody that comes to us, uh, as you know, we've, we've talked about a lot uh, in terms of our need, some of the needs for that are underfunded for critical services, I think it would be a great exercise too if we if we do just what you said, kind of look at everything uh, at the end of the year as we do the budget and kind of prioritize then. Um, I know there's some other things we talked about the parish court lately. It's going to cost some money. Uh, we might need to to reevaluate uh, some of some of these uh, funding requests. Plus, it's hard, too, when they come at us one at a time like this, if we can kind of maybe, just a suggestion, maybe we look at them all uh, in, one, in one shot. Maybe we, we have people come to us and um, we don't necessarily grant approval. We, we just take it under advisement and then uh, look at it when we do the final approval, I guess, maybe when we do the budget. Just a thought. Well, I don't want to just cut one. We yeah, cut, sure. every, cut it across the board total if we're going to do anything. Okay. Councilman Kluwa? Yeah, I'd just like to know if the administration can can supply us with, uh, Benzie brought it up, supply us <coughs> with the uh, the total number of nonprofit organizations that we do annual contributions to and, and the dollar amount associated with that, uh, you know, if we're going to take a look at it. We, we can certainly do that. Uh, we have those on record, and uh, we'll get them back to you at the next, uh, you want it at the council meeting, or do you want it at the next finance meeting? Well, well, I think what we've we got, got in front of us today, we got this, that, that's, that right. they, there's a motion that this will go to the next council meeting, but we probably have, we've got a large number, I can name about 10 of them, you know, right now, but uh, do, do we want to go in that direction? It's up to the board, I mean, but uh, we'll take a look at that before you we say something yay and nay on this one tonight yeah. for us. You have until... Of cutting it anything, I'm, I'm, I'm not advocating that. You have until adoption of the budget to make your mind up on this. What's and, your deadline, and, sir? We'd like to October. We'd like to know uh, how we want how we're going to proceed in this. We can we can put it in the budget any way you'd like. We can take the names and of each organization that we give, uh, take the twenty percent out, come back with you with the total number what that would amount to, and. Uh, let you know. Yeah, and what I'm getting at is this: it's, uh, it's a normal annual cycle at this. Right. The, the, these folks in front of us tonight, mm -hmm. somebody else might be in front of us next month. Somebody else might might not be in front of us till January. You know That's what I mean? Depending on where they. Well, are. If they don't come till January, they won't get in the budget. Yeah. So. And, uh, so. Yeah. Okay. We can we can do that. We I mean, before we act negative or any any other way on, on this this request, sure. you know. Well, no. I mean, you got you have time to. to, to we, to let us gather the information, bring it back to you, and uh, let you look at it and uh, see what we need to do. And on the court deal that Chris brought up, uh, yeah, we we finding out that that's going to be an ex expensive endeavor. Uh, we need court reporter. We need all kind of stuff. And uh, then we prosecutor, and so it, it's not going to be uh, 
you're not going to recoup your money on it. That it, it's something that we we need to provide in the parish, but it's not going to be cheap. So. Martha doesn't have any grants tucked away for that, or what? <laughs> no, we. Uh, in fact, uh, we, we we talked today at the chamber. We right now we have about fifty-five million nine hundred thousand dollars worth of grants in the hopper. So uh, they they're working hard uh, getting this stuff. Miss James so. also. Yes. Councilman Valentine? Yeah, uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, yeah, just piggybacking on, on what uh, Councilman Kluart, uh Parish President, how much did we have budgeted this year? Did we just do it in a, in a lump sum? We, we budgeted each one that's been coming every year. We'll put it in the budget, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's approved until right. it goes by the, well, by the council. You know, but uh, Gwen maybe can, can give us. Some sort of an what, idea. What, one of the things that probably we need to do, and administration probably needs to do it. One, one, I'm sure you're in agreement with. Yes. We just can't continue to do this. Right. I mean, that's why we're talking about it. Um, the other thing is a criteria involved. You know, whether it's a 501c, what, 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 what exactly uh, the organization is, and it has to be something that is beneficial to our parish for right. one thing and, and has a track record. So we, we may want to develop some criteria if we don't have something developed that we can go by. And essentially, you know, nobody hates to say we can't give you anything. Uh, but then again, we're dealing with the public's money. So we have to be uh, selective on, on what we give, especially in these hard times which we're facing. So I, I would think that we need to develop, maybe administration needs to develop some criteria on exactly uh, who would qualify for something if there's grant money that they're getting already from another source, which means they're already getting taxpayers' money from another source already, and then we're going to take Ascension Parish tax money and give it to them. So I think I think that's you know the administration might need to develop a plan through the finance department on criteria. We'll be happy to do so and uh, have something maybe a draft at the uh, at the next finance meeting. Is that agreeable? That'd be great. Okay. Get a little ahead of time, it'd be nice. Councilman Johnson? I would, make a, I would try to make sure that that happens. Okay. Make a substitute motion to table this item until next month's finance committee meeting until we okay. get some of these questions answered. We can yeah. make a better decision on what we got here. Substitute motion to table this. Second, Second by Councilman Bell. Uh, any discussion? Any objection? Substitute motion passes. Item number 12 is another uh, funding request from the Capital Area Family Violence Intervention Center. Uh, Ms. Alicia Murphy and Ms. Martha. Okay. Well, good afternoon, and that last discussion is hard to follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> My name is Martha Forbes. I'm the Executive Director of the Capital Area Family Violence Intervention Center, and Ms. Alicia Murphy is our Director of Development. Uh, and we heard your discussion and humbly uh, asked for a few minutes just to tell you about what is going on in Ascension Parish and in Louisiana about domestic violence. And I appreciate the opportunity to address the Finance Committee. And one of the things that we are trying to get better at is to tell you the results of the work we do. Now, just some, you have a packet before you that has lots of information. It has the annual report from last year. The purple sheets are our analysis of our whole agency. We serve seven parishes and how that breaks down in terms of the services we deliver in each parish, the cost of those services, and the revenues that we have to support each parish. But the reason that we're here is because of the mission to end domestic violence. Uh, the estimate based on the 2009 census projection, and I've heard from the Chamber of Commerce that they expect that the numbers will be even higher with the 2010 census, are that there are 104,822 people in Ascension Parish as of 2009. 53,900 of those are female. 13,496. 13,496 is the number of women who have been, are, or will be abused by their intimate partner during her life. 
1,620 number of women in ascension who will be beaten, raped, or stalked today. We are talking, gentlemen, according to the Center for Disease Control, we're talking about an epidemic of violence against women. So what we provide is a basic safety service for your community. One in four women, according to the Department of Justice, will be physically or sexually assaulted in her lifetime. Now let me say to you guys, because you're all men sitting at that table, that most men are not abusers. But the fact still remains that most of the abuse is by a man against a woman. 85 to 93 percent of all abuse. And that is because the same person who abuses one partner will abuse the next partner. And we work closely with law enforcement, with Sheriff Wiley, with the police departments, with the emergency rooms of hospitals, with the school board, with other systems in the community so that together we can stop the violence. Last year in 2009, we trained all of the staff and um, faculty of 24 of your public schools. That was a lot of sessions and it was a lot of work, but it was very rewarding for the teachers who learned about the impact of domestic abuse and the teachers, people who learned what may be going on in their own relationships. The school board would like for us to do more. But if you look at the purple sheet, um, the second part of that purple sheet shows you what we're able to do with our current resources. And in the bottom of that, the top shows our services and approximate amount we spend here. And as you can see, we provide services to more than 450 individuals in Ascension Parish in a year, and we trained more than 2,600 individuals. That does not count the community response team meetings and, and the uh, networking that is available through there. At the bottom shows all sources of revenue that we have to support the parish. And if you will note at the bottom, there's a difference of 51,000. I'm not asking you to make up that difference. What we do is I look at all parishes, like on the first sheet, and if we're not producing where we need to be producing, we rearrange our services. But in Ascension Parish, you are getting over $200,000 worth of service. We would love to provide more. Your budget for the last several years has included $20,000 for support of services in this parish. I request that you look at continuing that allocation and if you can, to increase it to at least $30,000. We want to do more. We recognize the need. But part of the result is the number of murders of women by their partners has been reduced in Ascension Parish. Louisiana is number one in terms of the number of women killed by men, 67% of those murders are by their current or former spouse or in intimate partner. We want that to get down to zero. Last year there were two in Ascension Parish. It's been as high as seven. We want to continue to move that number to zero, and we need your support to help us. Are there any questions? Councilman Thompson? I'd like to make a motion that we table this till we get control of the budget. We, we need to take a look at the budget to see where we need to be at. A motion by Councilman Thompson to defer this. Second by Councilman uh, Johnson. We do want to thank you, Ms. Forbes and Murphy, for coming by You're welcome. and educating us. And if you think through things, um, Mr. Chair and members of the committee, that you would like to hear from us, if you need things clarified, we will be happy to get information to you. I got a quick question. Thank okay. you. Great. Ma'am, uh, ma ma I got a quick question for you. I'm looking down at your, uh, your, your revenue sources and uh, uh, basically for the, um, the state of Louisiana combined, this, you basically only get like $46,000. 
you mean for Ascension Parish. Yeah. Now that yeah. is real complicated because we're working with the state of Louisiana too. Mm -hmm. They have four domestic violence programs. There are 20 across the state. Mm -hmm. um, they have about 6.2 million to give. We were a are awarded this year 545,000 of that, which is something like seven and a half percent of what they have. Yet we're responsible for services to 14 point something of the population. Uh, next year, we uh, from July 1 through June of next year, we've been awarded 9.1 percent, but we're still serving 22 percent of the women who are served in the in the state. So. We don't, we get 545, but if you look across that, there's 25,000 that they say is dedicated to each services in each parish. Mm -hmm. Then the next line shows 370,000, but because we serve a large number of people who don't fall in any of the seven parishes, they live in other states or they live in other parts of Louisiana, then that's the only funding source we've got for that. Then we take the remainder and prorate across the parishes. That's the yeah. short answer. Oh, I understand that. I think you'd explained it one time before to me. So but anyway, oh. and I noticed the parish government. So you, if you had, had you petitioned any of the municipalities in Ascension Parish? No, but that's an idea, huh? That's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Councilman, uh, Councilman Bell. Uh, well, you're the only public funding uh, from the directly from the parish, but we'll be happy to approach the local um, municipalities and cities. And um, I'm hoping that they will recognize this as a real issue for them because we work very closely with local police and sheriff's officers sure. every day. Mm -hmm. Mr. President? Yes, I, I'm looking at the parish government funding and there's seven parishes, I guess, in the region, two, four, mm -hmm. six, seven, and seven. Only, only three contribute. Yes, and we're working on the other four. And so... Again, <laughs> the formula here doesn't seem to be working. I mean, we got three parishes out of seven paying for uh, contributing to the service. I'm not. Saying oh no, I I agree with you totally, and we are approaching each parish in the okay. same way with the same handout with showing their um, their spreadsheet as well. And um, th the fact is, this is a hard problem to explain, and I appreciate you struggling with the value of the services. But I can tell you that prior to our services in this parish, more murder occurred and we're trying to stop killing and we're trying to help save lives. And for your teens as well, if you look at the teen violence, it starts in middle school and uh, we want to work with you to eradicate it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I don't, did we take a, mo a vote on the motion? I'm not sure if we did. Any any objection to the motion? Okay. Just in case we did. Oh, well, Councilman Lambert. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second by Councilman Bell. Being adjourned.